Hey everybody, Frank here. Today we have the Mongrel RDA from Dam Vape induces Jack, also known as Vaping Insider. What we have here is a 25 millimeter RDA, 26 millimeters with a glass cap, single coil, made out of stainless steel. Comes with a standard uh, 510 pin and bottom feeding pin pre-installed, 810 drip tip. And you can get it in four colors, stainless steel, black, gunmetal, and matte black. And it's, it goes for about 30 bucks. I mean, you can find it some places a little bit cheaper. So let's not chatter too much about it here. Let's go down. Let's talk about it. And I'll give you my thoughts. Let's go. Check and everything on this side. Designed USA, made in China. This side says mongrel. And this side, back it up a little bit so you can see it. And it comes with it. All right. And here you see you have mongrel. You have the glass cap. You have these two airflow inserts. Take off this. There. All right. Of course, if you can on camera, wants to start acting up. You have the parts and everything else falling everywhere. This is just a blank piece of paper. This goes with that. Let's zoom that down. There we go. Just some extra O rings. Here you have a squonk pin, or oh, not squonk pin, the uh, gold plated 510 pin with a regular pin, some extra grub screws, o rings, you got cotton with a really nice looking coil. We're not going to use that one now. You have some extra o rings for the glass cap. You have a little user manual. In here, we have a couple of pound keys in there. So we can leave that in there. Forget that. Forget that. And we have this card here Mongrel, a flavor oriented RDA. And let's see, I'll look at this to zoom in. Read everything there. All right, let's get to where we're, what we're here for. Put all that back. Put this here. I'm going to take this and we're going to put it on the build stand. Okay, before we even do that, let's look at this. You have nice laser etching right here with mongrel. Nothing on that side. On the base, you have, there we go, there we have to get the focus. You have Mongrel, serial number 2519, juices Jack and Dan Vape. And he has the squonk pin already installed. Now let's put this on a fill stand. When you say it comes with an 85810 drip tip, this is the 810 talking about. It does have an o ring in there, it's a little bit tight. See the o ring right in there. 
Okay. There we go. Pull this off of here. There we go. Even here, you have a deep juice well. Right through here, you see right through, you see this ledge here? The juice is going to come up, hit this, and then go to each side of your core. Just like a cup. And airflow comes through here, comes up through there, same on the other side. Get these. Okay, oh, that one's already open. Well, before we do that, let's grab the coil and see what way this is oriented. So you have this is your positive side because it has the oops. Yeah, it has the insulator right there. And then, of course, that's going to be the negative side. So, I think we want to go this way. Let's take half a wrap off. So, that one's good. I need to open up this one. Question on camera. I don't want to. There we go. Okay, it's opened up. So I'm gonna back this way. There we go. And basically what you're gonna do is just gonna slide this in there. This in there. Of course, the camera is going to be hard. And that one going, of course. Yes, I can. Oh, yep, there we go. Crank these down. Color. That leaves it pretty easily. Okay. I like how you have that ledge right in here. It creates just an air. Let's snip these leaves. And get as close as you can. Give me a little feel. All right, now right, let's put this on the mug. Here's the one I've been using. I guess I had two of them. Got this one extra stainless one in the trade. And I have glass cap on here. Take that off. Put it on the other side. Anybody that asks, yes, I did try it on the Billy Club, and the Billy Club, well, the mine was a little too big. All right. I'm going to come up to a 0.17. I'm going to lower the waters a little bit here just so we can blow these. Well, first, let's put the cap on. Check, make sure there's no shorts. Nope, looks like we're going to be okay. All right, let's see if we can get these hot spots. 
Okay. Yeah, looks good. Let me see. Let's turn the uh, bounce around a little bit. Get this mixed up. Yeah, Mm -hmm. And what I like to do is I like to bring it down and cut right about at the base because the juice well is deep enough. So put it about here. So we're going to thin it out a little bit too. So we're going to cut it out here. Take tweezers and just Fluff it out a little bit. Just to help the capillary reaction. And there it looks good. And just tweezers and set it inside. And let's cut a little bit more. This is the Make the cylinder. Here we go. And let's get some small connection here. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, let's get it for it. This is some strawberries and cream. I didn't use the airflow insert for a reason. Let's see here. Point one nine. Let's bring that up. Bring it up to about fifty yards. Some good connection there. All right, let's go on top. Let's vape on. 
and I'll give you my thoughts. All right, gang, you just saw the download part of the mongrel from Dambate. What do I think about it? It's a damn good RDA. I was a little nervous at first, thinking, you know, I've seen you know, a lot of reviews on it, and, you know, friends in the community that have it say, Frank, it's a really good RDA. Go ahead, you know, do yourself a favor, pick one up. You're not going to be sorry. And you know what? They're all right. For as big as this is, this still has big flavor. I mean, would I put it up against, you know, a Hadley? It's, you know what? Dollar for dollar, it's, it's worth it. I mean, it's a great little, RD, it's a great you know, big RDA. It looks good. I say it matches pretty good gunmetal wise with the my beat up uh, top side. Which is, man, this thing's over two years old already and still kicking. It's good. Had some trouble with it and got straightened out. And I'm going to show you what it looks like with the glass cap on it. Look at that. Look at that. See, you can see everything you got going on. You know, when you squonk it, you can see a squonk. You can see where it says mongrel. I mean, it's just nice. Now, the other one I've been using for a little while now. Yes, for what about two weeks now? I think it is something like that. Maybe a week. Uh, I have the screen. This insert here. This one here, one looks like a screen, and it's quiet. It gives good flavor. This one I just have. You know, I set up. You know, just you saw, saw me set it up. I left the insert out because I want to see how it is. And so far, I think it's it's pretty good. I mean, I think I I personally like it close down a little bit and with that screen in there yeah what i didn't show you is they don't have a stop run there because of this glass cap so we just turn it a little bit and that's how you adjust your airflow i mean i like it better with the air with the inserts in uh i mean that's one con i would have for it is once you put the build in, you can't put the inserts in because obviously it goes under the coil. So uh, this one, I'll probably just use it the way it is. And I have the other one set up, you know, with the, uh, with the insert in it. And I think it gets a little bit better flavor with the insert, but then that's my opinion. You may find something different. So Deuces Jack, Vape Insider, Dan Vape, you guys did a nice job with this RDA. I really like it. Uh, I have two of them now. So I picked one up in a trade. Uh, unfortunately, your billy club is a little too small for it. I mean, I can get the, the regular metal cap at 25 on there, but that's it. The 26 just doesn't fit on there, but it wasn't made for billy club. It was made for, you know, made for whatever. Made, I think, uh, I don't know much about the Ambate, but I believe they do have a mod, so it goes on there. So, uh, well, actually, you know what? I can tell you right now. Let's look. I'm on their website. Can't show you the website, unfortunately. Yeah, but some other items uh let's see do they have mods products let's see what they say nope they have sub ohm tanks they have rbas they have rtas but still they have you know they have good stuff and i mean i like this a lot i really do so i mean do you get an opportunity before the uh you know the deadline where you may not be able to pick up any vaping products through the mail you may have to go to uh, your brick and mortar and give them some business and hopefully they'll be fair and you know they're not going to gouge everybody which you know there's some that will there's some that won't but with that said everybody be good wash your hands don't talk to strangers and we'll see you on that next video have a good day everybody